It's been over a month since our accident in our RV desert snow and over a month in the collision repair shop. You know, things haven't been easy, but we've been getting anxious as to when we can get desert snow back on the road, when we can put all this behind us and continue doing what we so love to do, our adventures. Now, hopefully today we'll get a better sense of uh, when desert snow is gonna be ready, right? It's been, it's been a challenge trying to schedule our trip up to Canada just not knowing you know how long this is gonna take right babe and so I know um, it's so. like you know obviously it's been going like you know a week we're trying to go week by week you know we hear news from folks at the repair shop that's it's getting there and there's some things they're working on and you hear something from the insurance company and it's like uh, it's just it's first of all it's mentally stressing we're getting close to the end of summer and obviously we're we miss our home on wheels I keep saying that but we do miss we miss them like we've been kind of doing the rental thing right now yes. and that is it's cool because it gives us you know and an out to do things but it's weird it's not our home no it's not our you feel like you're just in like a friend's home or something like, something like that or even somebody don't know so home right you're kind of watching that and making sure you can't relax yeah it's hard to relax yeah. it's not like you, you know, you're used to certain things in your home and then you realize oh it's, oh, it's not here exactly right? where's my pots where's yeah, my pants exactly you don't know what to expect but you're hoping for some good news With all of the daily stresses we've been going through with our accident, we decided to take a drive to the repair shop to not only see our RV desert snow, but to hopefully get some good news, which we really needed to hear at this point. All right, so we made it to the uh, body shop here. We're on our way in right now. And uh, to find out what, what's going on, what can we expect, all that great stuff. Ah, moment of truth. Oh, hi. How are you guys? Good, how are you? Doing great. Oh. It's gonna rain, I love it. Yeah, well, yeah, hurricane season, you know. Yeah, big storm coming. It's coming in this direction. I mean, it's been since, what, July 10th now? Yeah, that's when it got dropped off. It's hard to believe it's yeah. been over a month, month. I right? I know, but boy, oh boy, you know, it's... It's that moment, you're like, okay, summer's coming to the end of summer right. soon. And I know, obviously, this is the nervous chatter happening right here, right now, you know? Well, it's kind of amazing. Time just flies, right? You don't really realize that it's been over a month. And we look back to it, my goodness, it was actually over a month ago. Right. Right, and so. And we've been busy, like trying to just really keep busy. ourselves busy and our exactly. minds busy and things like that, so. So, when we finally met up with the customer service manager, it turns out we didn't receive the good news we were hoping for. This is Caden. He's going to give a little bit more explanation in terms of all that language that I couldn't quite understand <laughs> that Dave understands. So, Caden, can you take it away? Tell us what's going on and all right. help us get it back on the road. What are we doing? So, as of right now, I've got it on a lift so I can take the transmission apart. i got to take a number off of the valve body and uh, program it into the computer so it knows how to shift properly. So that's currently why it's on the lift. Uh, we've got the connections done, the PCM is installed and has a VIN programmed into it, but it's missing the shift uh, uh, shift strategy information is what it's called. What's the time frame to figure it out and then what's the time frame to actually get the module in place, or roughly? So a quick thanks to BetterHelp for sponsoring this portion of today's video. You know, over the past year, a lot of you may know and may not know that Dave and I have been experiencing some real traumatic issues from me ending up in the hospital due to a stroke scare and an even more recent event, our home on wheels, desert snow. We were in a collision and he is in the shop for the near foreseeable future. We're dealing with the stresses of that, trying to run our business and just things that have been piling up and piling up. And a lot of times it's really hard to deal with that mental and you may not know who to talk to to deal with stresses like that. You know, regardless if you have a clinical mental health issue like depression or anxiety, or if you're just a human living in today's world and are going through a hard time, well, therapy can give you the tools you need to approach life in a different way. And that's why we're excited to tell you about BetterHelp. The mission of BetterHelp is to make therapy more affordable and more accessible. And this is an important mission because finding a therapist can be really hard, especially if you're limited to options in your area. BetterHelp is a platform that makes finding a therapist easy because it's online, it's remote, 
and by filling out a few questions, BetterHelp can match you with a professional therapist in as little as a few days. Oh, and because finding a therapist is kind of like dating, if you don't jive with the therapist you have initially, you can always switch to a new therapist. No additional cost to you, so you don't have to worry about stressing about insurance or anything like that. If you're dealing with stresses in life like we all do, including ourselves, consider online therapy with BetterHelp. It's easy to get started, y'all. Just click our link in the description box below, betterhelp.com forward slash let's turn up world for 10% off your first month. And thanks again, BetterHelp, for supporting this channel. Oh, modules in. Uh, I just need to get a bunch of numbers that's off of the valve body assembly. And then it's probably going to take me about three, four hours just to get that information. Once I have it, I can program the computer, the remaining part, and put the transmission back together. And then it'll be back in his hand for the body shop repairs. So. Okay, so. Okay, so that sounds like it's not till middle of next week. Is that the So I, I should have the transmission opened up today <gasps> as my goal. <Yeah. laughs> Did you hear Yay, that? Hayden. That's a possibility. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Okay, okay. And then it goes back into his hands. Yes. Right? Yeah. Up him. Jeff is waiting on the, we have all the parts and everything here. So it's, yeah, once this is done, that usually goes pretty quick. Um, I believe everything should be painted besides the door on it. So. Um, once they get all that done, they'll tear it apart and do all the paint and all that, but... A possible... What are you thinking with... A guesstimate. Like I'm a... looking at Monday for completion on my side. Monday completion on your side, which means another week for your side? Uh, probably a little less. I'd say a week, though, but I'd say okay, probably so, a little less. Okay, so we're still we're, tr the... we're trying to plan our Canada trip. So, yeah. so we're <laughs> still in the window of Canada, y'all. Hoping for a little bit better news, but I think <laughs> with that news in itself, well, I mean, it still sounds hopeful. I'm going to just walk around and you know give him a good pep talk real quick just to <laughs> tell him you know we miss him he's in good hands we'll give him a big old hug afterwards I know the cats are excited to get back in there Woo -wee. that's a lot to process and if you're anything like me that mechanic shop talk still left my head spinning but maybe Dave can sum it up for you so effectively what we understand is that when we hit the pole with desert snow, the computer that manages the transmission actually was right in line with the pole and got crushed up against the pole and actually split in half. And so, so until they actually fix that computer, reprogram it so that the transmission will work effectively, it's gonna stay here in the mechanical section of the collision shop. And then from there, it can finally move back into the the body repair shop and also the paint and finish section. We're going to show you that as well so you get a sense of what the process is going to be for our boy Desert Snow. So babe, yeah, you ready for a little uh, collision shop walkthrough? Okay, get, get my <laughs> mind off of seeing Desert Snow back there a little bit. Let's, let's do a little collision walkthrough. Collision walkthrough, here we go. Okay, we're doing a little collision walkthrough, huh? We're going this way, yeah. We're going this way. Heading on in. So once Desert Snow gets out of the mechanical part, let's get that computer fixed. We're gonna come on over here and actually have all these parts, all these new OEM parts put on. So uh, so I, I like to call this, for a lady, this is the makeup department. So when you wanna get, um, get beautified, this is where you come to get beautified. And That's right. And, and Jeff is the main beautifier. He's the main beautifier. Well, I don't know, I, the paint department makes it beautiful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All, uh, all the parts that we put on your vehicle, they're all gonna be OE, original equipment. It's a lot better to use those equi that equipment just because with aftermarket, you get fitting problems, uh, fitment problems, gaps. How's the interaction between like you guys working with the insurance companies on OE products? Is that kind of a sticking point sometimes or? Uh, so a lot of insurance companies don't like to throw OE onto vehicles. Um, they try to get the cheapest rate, which I'm the one who deals with that all day. And it, to me, it's kind of crazy just because everyone pays their premiums on time. Um, they're, you take care of them, so they should take care of you. You know what I mean? So um, you do even get questions on even like 2022s wow, um, yeah. where they want to throw something aftermarket. Any secrets too for someone who gets in an accident and they're going through the process in terms of working with the collision company or the, the insurance company, any secrets on how to make sure you get those OE products um, when you have to kind of be your own advocate or yeah a lot of times like if you're working with a, a company just depending on like for me um 
something like that I wouldn't put aftermarket on. So no matter what, I'm gonna fight um, and show as much documentation as I can to show the insurance like, hey, we need to put OE on this. Yeah. I think just walking through here makes you feel a little bit better about I agree. Like, what's happening Big with our rig, just because you can kind of see the process. There's like multiple layers and multiple steps. And it's like, it's like a factory. Oh, it's, they do so it's much. It's a big I production mean, here. And yeah. they do quite a few RVs. So that yeah. makes you feel, that makes you feel great. You know, I, I, I also still want to give props to this place, but until we get it back, I gotta nah. stop it there. <laughs> Whew. I say I feel better about the process. For now, yeah. um, I'm enjoying all of the amazing artwork as we walk on by this incredible artwork. But I think there's a hidden gem spot we should check out that we got a recommendation because I'm starving. I'm so, so hungry. Yeah, this looks like a great family owned restaurant here. And we're gonna check it out. So we, we got this little local hidden gym spot right now. We're in here called Honolulu Grill. It was recommended by DJ from the River Collision Place that says it's a really popular spot. Sort of a hidden gem here in uh, St. George. And we're gonna meet, I think the owner here is Boo Boo. So we're excited to kind of see what some of the hot items on the menu. So take it away, Boo Boo. <laughs> I don't wanna ruin your camera, man. Uh, how you doing? So, so. so a question for you, how long has uh, the grill been open? 23 years. Holy cow. So September 5th, which is two weeks from now, makes 23 years. Yeah. Mom and dad started it, so this me and a, my siblings, we... This is a family business going way yeah. back here. Incredible. Yeah. Oh, it's our first time here, so what are some uh, highlights, recommendations? My favorite is like the local moco. You gotta have that. Local you go to moco? Hawaii, you gotta have a local moco, so that's one of our top sellers. Rice, um, hamburger, patty. Sauteed onions, gravy, um, eggs, however you want them. You see that? It just kind of runs, it's running right into the plate. Mm. You're gonna love this. Oh my gosh. We're gonna have lunch, breakfast, and dinner for the next four nights. Yeah, I think there's enough in there, right? We got, of course, this teriyaki beef, the barbecue chicken, the katsu chicken. It's crazy. That is really oh, good. Oh, the flavor. Nice, sweet teriyaki sauce. You're going to like that, man. Mm -hmm. ask you a question, if you don't yeah. mind. So, all that's been happening in Hawaii, we spent some time in Maui and Lina, so do you have family in the area that's... My uncle lived on lives in Maui, but it, he wasn't affected, thank goodness. But uh, yeah, we're trying to do a little stuff to donate to them too as well. So we have the QR code that all the funds go straight to them. It's a group that's doing it, so we just help promote it and do a little something for them. Yeah, we can show yeah, that. Show that. Yeah. So far through all of this that we've been going through, uh, with all these ups and downs, I feel like it's really important to find a collision repair shop that you can trust. You don't always have to go with the insurance recommended repair shops because you might not have the same results. And who knows, this could have been worse if you didn't have the collision repair shop that we're working with. I feel like they're they're very knowledgeable and they're very much willing to explain and uh, talk about what's going on. Yeah, no, it's really true. And we, we spend a lot of time looking at reading reviews, You're looking online, you know, how, how's this shop rated? Do they, do, do they work with RVs, right? Just, can they handle RVs? Do they use OEM parts? That reputation was important to us. Yes, that's, and, and communication is key. I found it very important for us to not only stay on top of the collision repair shop, but also, you know, finding out what's going on with the insurance company. So I think it's really important to, to be your own advocate, to get out there and constantly, you know, put all the pieces together so that everybody's kind of in sync. But then the cost too, kind of... It's a big job. Not having gone through something like this before, I mean, this is over, the, the estimate right now is for over $30,000. I know. And it kind of blows our mind and like, out. And obviously, you know, we still need to get through the whole process to understand how everything works out with insurance. We think it's heading in the right direction, but until it's all done, we don't know for sure. Yep, we won't know for sure. But we're thankful and hopeful that we'll soon be reunited and back on the road soon in desert snow. 
We truly want to say thanks to you for all the tremendous support and words of encouragement you've shown us throughout this process. We've said it many times. We truly have the best community out there. See y'all on the road.